Hello and welcome to IGCSE Success. I just wanted to quickly jump on and share with you three course books or workbooks that I have found particularly useful in helping prepare students for their first language English exam. And before I start, I have to say that as a teacher, I am not a massive fan of using textbooks to teach students and I'll tell you why and I'll try and keep this quite brief. Um, when a class of say 30 are presented with quite a thick book every single lesson and they are expected to learn this book inside out, do all of the activities, um, it doesn't excite them. And the first language course it isn't the most exciting, but we have to, as teachers, we have to find ways to bring language to life. Do I think a book like this is going to make the whole process exciting? Probably not. I'm really selling these books, aren't I? In terms of breaking down what is required for each question, the skills that you need to demonstrate in order to succeed with first language, the skills needed for um, coursework, they are very good indeed. Starting with this one, um, this one is made by Hodder Education, endorsed by Cambridge. I mean, this is a course textbook. It's very comprehensive. It breaks down the key skills needed for first language. I think it even looks at um, what's required for coursework. It's got uh, model responses. I mean, it's your kind of typical textbook, if you like. In terms of if you've got time to go home and, you know, study and strengthen your skills, this would be ideal. I mean, if you can get your head around everything that's in here, no doubt you, you'll be in a good position. Now, the next one is uh, First Language English Exam Preparation and Practice. Now, if you are someone who just loves doing exam prep or you find it quite useful, I mean, this book has been a godsend for setting homework for my students, um, half-term revision, summer revision, etc. It breaks down each of the core skills so, so well. And there's also, there's also two complete 2020 papers. And if you're a teacher watching this, you know how difficult and time consuming it is to create um, a paper that's in line with the with the new syllabus requirements. And the last one is a Collins book, so Cambridge IGCSE English, and this is a workbook. And I mean, it's your kind of typical workbook looking at exam skills. And again, I've, I've photocopied parts of this, don't know if I'm allowed to, uh, just for homework and whatnot. And it's, especially with the lead up to you know the exams next year this would be you know very useful indeed in terms of you know strengthening those skills getting in that sort of last minute practice so yes these are the three books that i have used with my students i regularly set them homework from these three books um, i don't use them as i've said in my day-to-day -day teaching but they are quite useful. I think you can get all three of these from the bookdepository.com and various other websites. Amazon, um, I teach in Thailand, so the book depository is uh, a better option for me. So yeah, that's it. I just thought I'd jump on here and you know share those three books that I have found quite useful, my students have found quite useful. Uh, you, you might be a student watching this, maybe wanting to do some prep, um, over the summer to get a head start. Maybe you're going into your 11, maybe you're in year nine, going into year 10. But certainly those three books are, you know, you know they're, they're a good starting point. And that's all from me today, guys. I will see you very soon with my video. I promise it's coming, looking at the sub questions to question two. Bear with me. Life has been pretty crazy, but I'll see you soon.